Hello YouTube, today I'm in Kerbal Space Program and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a free return trajectory around the moon. Um, basically, if you don't know what that is, that is basically a trajectory which will take you from low carbon orbit like I'm in now, around the moon and back again, but where you won't need to burn after you get the trajectory around the moon and you'll come straight home safely to Kerbin. So this is useful if, um, well it's more useful in real life than it is in Kerbal Space Program first of all. And the reason it's useful in real life is because a safety measure, basically. If your engines don't turn on when you're in moon orbit, you get back, you know, completely safely. Um, and, you know, we're just basically going to show you how to do it. So you know how if you want to replicate the Apollo missions, maybe, or basically just if you want to do anything where you, you know, maybe even a permadeath type thing. Um, it's kind of useful anyway. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a maneuver node. Put it somewhere in front of the orbit of your craft and make the apoapsis, and you can click on it like that, make it somewhere around 13.5 I think is the ideal amount. Um, there we go, 13.5 million meters. Now move this around um, and wait till you get a moon intercept like that and then keep going and you'll see your trajectory starts to come back round, keep bringing it down and then eventually you'll get it so your periapsis around Kerbin is the same, oh sorry, is below the atmosphere and you have a low periapsis around the moon or a relatively low periapsis around the moon. Now we can actually uh, click on that again and then adjust the periapsis around the moon by burning either more retrograde or more prograde. But you do have to bear in mind that doing so will also change your periapsis around Kerbin. So if we burn a bit more, we should actually be able to get a slightly tighter periapsis around the moon. Um, there we go. And then we just need to make a little bit of a fine adjustment to get it low enough around Kerbin. But obviously you can do this, just play about with the maneuver node, it doesn't matter if uh, you do something a bit weird and it doesn't want to work. Generally, you want to burn more prograde if your periapsis is aren't low enough, and a bit more retrograde if they're too low. So now, all we have to do is execute that burn, and you'll see there it says the estimated burn time is about a minute, so we'll just burn 30 seconds before the node to spread that burn over that burn time, and I'm just going to quick save in case something goes wrong. So there we go, just wait till we get 30 seconds away. Um, there we are, and start burning. And then you just have to wait for this burn to happen, and once that's done, you should have a free return trajectory. So there we are, we've got a trajectory which takes us round the moon. If I zoom out here, you'll be able to see it goes round the moon, comes back round, and you'll fall. Well, this one actually takes us inside Kerbin, but obviously you'll be able to slow down before you hit the ground and stuff. Um, but you can adjust that however you want. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope the video helped you, and I hope you liked it. If it did, then feel free to give it a thumbs up or a favorite. And as always, thanks for watching again, and have a nice day.